Geil. Okay, whoops, I played the wrong intro, but here we go. <laughs> Raise. Power building the armory. Uh, in, in control. And a cargo start for Disgorge. Looks like they're gonna pack the 4-1 four, four from uh, Disgorge. They do have 4. Uh, and oh. it's coming in. Oh, look at that! Mr. Panel coming in, taking the 2 bites and the Parasite on that Marine. It looks like they're going for the base. Vaughn killing... Can he kill Lucas? But the, Lucas, the two other out of the oh, this is what is he doing? This is a problem. Rays need to get back. They will get back from Topo. Oh, and I just alt tab the game minimized. The there we go, back. Mr. Pennell about to die. The, the two skulks on the chair they get it down to forty four percent with the enzyme and the mucus. Wow. Okay, entertaining start there from both teams. <laughs> uh <laughs> So no one really has any res now either. I, I'll just point that out. Bacon saving the top of a res node, which was kind of half built. They had to retreat though. And the mine's going down, so that won't happen again. No, it won't. That's actually pretty interesting to point out, is that Discord actually beat the mines. Well, what happened there, both the uh, Cappers and Skylights, Peon, and I don't know who he was with, but they were both looking at the power node. None of them were actually looking at the doorway. <laughs> so then four Skulks just streamed in, took them out before they could even react. They were still building when they were uh, being bitten. And then those Skulks just swarmed into control, so... Mr. Pennell taking out Bruno, they were the... Uh... God, I can't remember what it's called now. Parasite, jeez. <laughs> All right, so the, we have the three Discord Skulls up here in Skylights against Jobin, who's trying to hold up. They're actually going to try and bite that, uh, bite that Res Node. Fantastic early game pressure from Discord. It's very, very aggressive, and it's very different to what we're used to seeing on the alien side. So Mr. Panel up against Bacon Soup does get, does take him out with the Parasite and the two bites. So uh, Ray's managing to clear. Oh, and Red Dog has posted an announcement on his stream group page. Thank you, Mr. Red Dog. Very, very uh, generous of you. All right, so we do have the three raised Marines coming into Overlook right now, uh, building that res node. While Griff is on the power node in C12, Jobin does catch him out. However, the power does go down. Mr. Pennell is the only one left. He will get Jobin in the vent. Mr. Pennell. Mr. Pennell, just MVP immediately. Good job. On fire today. <laughs> on fire. My Look gosh. at this guy, he's got it again! Oh man. Parasite kill! <laughs> Disgorge doing a fantastic job, really catching Ray's off guard right now. And this this Ray's uh, extractor count is just getting demolished by this pack of three on the left side here in Overlook. One going down to pee on there. But unfortunately, the extractor did go down, and that's uh, putting a delay to this uh, Ray's teching. All right, Bacon and Jobin moving down from topographical, trying to go down into C12, where we'll, they will need to uh, actually rebuild the power. But uh. As you probably noticed, Disgorge have been up in there in uh, in Ray's business up in Topo and Skylights pretty much the entire game, doing a fantastic job pressuring those nodes. And uh, we've got Mr. Pill now as Lurk out on the field, and Discord's doing a great job taking out Topo here. Power just going up in C12, Griff holding those Marines at bay until Mr. Pennell can come in to back up. So weapons one being started, no face tech on the way. Griff, Agile, Pennell, they're all in uh, all in C12, they do take out Bacon. Uh, meanwhile, Peon and, and uh, Kyle up here in Nanogrid are going to try and do something against this pack of two 
Two skulks and a lurk. And this pack play here by uh, Discord is, is quite fantastic. Cleaning out these marines everywhere they go, they are not getting to any of these critical rooms like Nanogrid or getting any sort of position on the map. And all of a sudden, Rays are about to be on two extractors, possibly... No, it will be two. And, uh, I have to comment on the use of, uh, Mucus Membrane by the commander here for Discord. Basically, negating all the chip damage that these Skulks are taking, uh, after their engagements. So that when they move around the map now, they will be at a reasonable health amount to, uh... Oh, and it looks like Mr. Pennell has lagged out. No! So, uh, the MVP, the MVP has lagged out, guys. No, Mr. Pennell! <laughs> <laughs> so that was his second death, if any of you were wondering. Uh, and look, he's still there. That makes me so sad. Look at that. Oh, he fades away. Okay. <laughs> So, Lifespawn almost getting taken out by a mine up here in control. He's gonna try and do some da- Oh. Okay, he got taken out no. by a mine. So, phase no. tech is up. Bruno and Kyle up here in system waypointing, trying to get a phase gate up. Adri will, uh, spot that. Adri. <laughs> so, now, okay, now we see Ray's doing okay. They're, they're trying to, uh, get a little bit of pressure back and a little bit of map control back. Oh, and I minimize again. I hate this bug. All right, and uh, Bacon and Jobin here in pipeline with the dual pressure. Phase gate is up in system waypointing and ghosted in the base. Someone's got to build that face. And a big engagement in pipeline here. Life's fun taking out Bacon Super. Nice clean up there by Life's fun in pipeline. So they will take that room shoot down the power. Meanwhile, they need to get this power up in base. Uh, sorry, the phase up. It is up now. So they do have system gate. So hopefully they'll be able to hold the left side of uh, the map right now. Get some res flowing. Get some upgrades happening. Otherwise, this game may uh, snowball away from them in Discord's favor because they've been playing so well. So, so well. Oh, and look at the mines. There's crazy mines everywhere. Race has been mining up vents, mining up res nodes and mining up base it's been a uh, Gina Reinhardt would be very proud very very <laughs> yeah very difficult for uh, Discord to really get anywhere now here we have uh, Kyle Bacon and Bruno up here in Nanogrid They're trying to do some big damage to this uh, important res income source for uh, Discord oh, but I missed the panels back and he is back with he a vengeance back. he's gonna Get in there and get dirty Look, and he, take them all he out. He is angry about his lurk. <laughs> <laughs> Mine peon. Taking out Vaughn. So Ray is trying to hold up against this push. I mean, Mine takes out both Griff and Life's Fun. Adra is the only one left with this drift to trying to take out this phase gate. Bacon will try and phase through. Ray is just holding that gate. Now they can get back into Nanogrid here, these harvesters are, are quite low. They might be able to hold and take that room as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, it does actually die. The Sis does not get to it in time. Um, it, I'm a bit confused, they've got a... They've got a, a Robo. Robo going up, maybe for sentries. Um, not really in a great place for arcs, unless they want to go arc from West Junction. However, uh... We actually do have a, a fun, a fade, sorry, I said a fun. A fun? <laughs> a, a fun, fun fade! We have a fun fade, of course, life's fun, life's fun fade. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> jo Jobin and Kyle, up here in C12, trying to recap. Adri and Griff, trying to resist that push a little bit. Yeah, and I think Luke is possibly misreading the situation in Nano here. I think he wants to possibly arc it. Just go for the slow push and take it eventually, but as we see it's the first so arc roll out, it, it was so, so low, low and they, they could have just swarmed they back did, in there and take taken the room. One harvester, yeah. So Kyle managing to clear out uh oh I think it was a little bit of a team kill there. That's that's a bit funny. Discord uh managing to 
take out one of their own teammates. Always fun when you see a team kill. So life's fun coming in. Has to retreat though, because there are quite a few shotguns there in system waypointing. And I like this. The Disgorge Com has got two drifters out. Um, well, not anymore. But had they <laughs> had two <laughs> drifters on each other in case one went down. Yeah, and look at that. Lucas actually has elected to go arcs to try and arc Nanogrid. Uh, three arcs as well, which I think is a little bit excessive. You it's don't a little need bit three excessive, arcs especially Nano. without they haven't spotted a gorge. Um, and there actually is no gorge upgrade yet, so no bile. No bile bomb to be seen anywhere. And <laughs> so Jobin and Kyle taking back their naturals. That's uh, that's good. It's they, a good they're start. Actually, they're actually in a good res situation now that they've actually gotten that phase gate up in system waypointing. The phase in system waypointing, as you know, is so powerful for lane blocking those. Uh, extractors on the left hand side that will be sub, overlook and skylights it's just extremely hard to get through to those extractors as a skulk when you have the gate and system but uh, now that they're arcing nanogrid they actually have taken it out it looks like rays might be able to go in and cap that uh, and if they do they will be on a really really healthy seven nodes almost too healthy that's like health food shop healthy so uh... Health food shop? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so uh the fade they actually have two fades out now Vaughn is a, has gone fade um interesting decision to be honest it will impact their res biting ability a little bit however they don't have any other life forms out yet and the closest they are to Onos is 10p res away and we're 11 minutes in nearly 12 minutes they still will have enough for two on I um Griff and Adrea will have... Oh, and life's fun! Really, really low here. Really, really 14%. low in Nanogrid. So, Peon, Bruno, and Kyle will go for the phase in Nanogrid, and this will actually allow them to cap those nodes, which will leave them on a healthy seven nodes. Griff biting down Overlook. As you said, they need to bite down some of this res before it spirals out of control. Meanwhile, we're going to push... Coming through topographical here, two fades. Don't know what they're gonna do. Well, uh, they could at least clear mines, but he might oh, actually get taken out by mines! Whoa! Life's fun! Oh, he's gonna get beacon. Life suddenly oh, is my fun goodness. for life's fun. <laughs> Living on the edge. He is. And mines everywhere, however, there are not many anymore as they have they were <laughs> all cleared out by life's fun. <laughs> so uh They do manage to save the gate too in system. Overlook res going down, however, doesn't really mean that much with Nanogrid being capped With possible six nodes, possible seven nodes on the way Last time I'm getting away on 26 have a, look at that res. have a look at that res graph. I mean, it's insane the disparity between the marine team and alien team right now However, the aliens still aren't in a bad spot. They have two hives. They have two two fades out with Onos six res away so two Two Onos, two Fades is not a bad combo at all. That phase gate in system almost going down, it was on 25%. And the turret's going up in Nano now, so... Fades will have a very hard time engaging in these rooms should turrets be put... ...everywhere. The mines, the mines are everywhere, there's one on the top of it, it's called the Drifter. Okay, and here we go. The seven nodes are coming. This is just insane because now they will have... They will just have enormous amounts of res flow. And they actually do take out topographical. So good job by Disgorged. Trying to stay on the res. Life's fun and Vaughn moving back into... It looks like they're going to try and make another control push. And here they go. Straight onto the gate. There was a miner, did a bit of chip damage. Nano shield oh, they're going to be off very careful. Oh! oh, and life's fun does go down. Life's not so fun anymore. <laughs> life's not fun for life's fun. <laughs> Taking a meat shot to the back there. On the way out. So. 
just got now one fade and two on eye in about one tick. What will they do? Will they elect to go straight for control, or will they try to get one of these uh, phase gates in, in either nano or system? And I want to see what Discord do if they go either the fast owners at 60 res, or they actually wait to get the Kara. Um, I oh, Vaughn is very low. You might get taken oh. out by Bacon. Extremely low. Ten percent there. Oh man, very close. Vaughn living on the edge. As well. So not much happening anymore. They do have the arcs moving through uh, East Junction now. Yeah, and Ray's... They really need to capitalize at the moment. They need to put pressure on somewhere. They're just letting the aliens Look, fly around the, the map. The Onos... The two Onos are out. They have, actually have elected to just go straight into the Onos. And there's the scan. They have been spotted. So <laughs> Lucas with the uh, huge bank... Right now, he can just scan and constantly know where they are. These arcs look like they may get uh, taken out by these Onai. However, uh, Rays do seem to know where they are. They're just going to wait for them. There's a bit of a Mexican standoff, it looks like. Oh, I think so. Uh, Just look at staring the armory, at each other down. And there we go, armory block in Nanogrid. Now, Griff has got to be extremely careful here. They have armory blocks in Nanogrid pretty well. However, it looks like they have dragged all the Marines over to Nanogrid. It looks like they're not going to go for a system waypointing push. on getting caught out of position here. We'll go down. Two gorges on this on us. It is not going to lose any HP anytime soon. Exoskeletons have been sighted. No. Jet oh packs. my goodness. <laughs> I think <laughs> I could have seen some excited. crazy, crazy strat from Ray's there. And here we go in, in uh, system waypointing. Oh, Griff, oh, going Griff down gets the taken out extremely quickly. Adro's got to be really, really careful here. He's low. He's on oh, 14%. No. no. Two Onos down. Do you know what's down. happened here? They've jumped over the armory into system, and the armory hasn't gone down, so they haven't had an escape route. Oh, oh that is. Two, uh, two Oni lost immediately. And, uh, and that is surely the GG. Discord's extremely, really uh, choked now on life forms. They just have the fade up, but the fade can't really do much against weapons two, armor two, shotguns all in the hive at the same time. And it looks like this is just the final sentence here for Discord. Von desperately trying to take out some of these marines in cargo. The and nano then, shield going oh, down. Oh, and oh. Vaughn gets taken out, so that is all of Discord's life forms. All gone. Given the kiss goodnight by Bruno, meat shot shotty uh, in the face. And now the Marines cleaning up the shells, cleaning up everything. Discord in no position to get any kind of life forms. They can only afford possibly a lurk, and that's it. Against jetpacks with uh, weapons too. <laughs> I'd say good luck. And unfortunately, once the Marines took nano grid, this match just really turned. Uh, Discord weren't able to. Uh, counter by taking out any of the extremity res points like Overlook and Sub and the Marines just uh, snowballed into what they are right now and you may see a last ditch effort maybe a possible gorge rush on control with a bile At the moment, Discord's all over the place. There's two in East, one in System. Looks like they're trying to group up for this push. Go from uh, 
flanking positions into I mean, control. They do have four biomass, so they could go. They do have bile bomb. However, they're all skulks right now. I, I think four percent on the hive and cargo. Lucas. Oh man. Lucas building sentries in cargo. Okay, for the max. Oh my. God. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you. <laughs> <laughs> Life He's gotta, like, nah. gotta save, gotta save his, his max. Uh... So jetpacks are up for the marines, so they're all probably gonna grab them right now. Stream down through Y Junction into cargo. This is such a good room for jetpacks. Griff getting slammed by Droven there. Bruna getting on top of the hive, getting nice and close and cozy. And there it is, down. the hive is down. Arcs rolling into pipeline. Subsector hive, sneakily placed. Discord just do not want to lose this game. I just realized how incredibly, incredibly laggy first person perspective is when you are on a US server specking another Australian player. <laughs> so, uh. Arcs in pipeline. They will manage to get these arcs down. However, there is a huge stream of jetpack shotgunning marines coming in. <laughs> no one is there to respond to them as they're all killing the arcs. There we go. So Jobin, Bruno. Bacon and Kyle are gonna take down the pipeline hive and now raise know what's up. They know the hive is in uh is in sub. It's actually, sub. it's actually gone to 35% grown, so it's been there for a while. It's about to get sentry. Oh, uh, it's about <laughs> Uh but unfortunately Disgorge have no uh eggs, so they cannot spawn, and there goes the GG. Uh so fantastic. Fantastic round there from Rays. Now they do take it 2-0. We are going to move to Tram, and there we go.